guys, it's just about three and I just got that feeling of actually being sleepy. So I'm going to go to bed now. Okay. It's just after 12. I wake up maybe like, I want to say like 10 times. Um, the first time I just got up to close the, the window so it wouldn't be as loud and bright once the sun came up. But other than that, it's like I wake up for probably like less than a minute and go back to sleep. But I feel like I've been laying here for like an hour now trying to go back to sleep and I can't like I don't feel like I've slept enough like I'm I'm still sleepy but I can't sleep so <laughs> yeah might as well give up on that for now I'll probably who knows take a nap later part of the problem is my my back is starting to hurt like I think just from from laying down for so long, so I need to get up for a little while and move around and stretch those muscles and then I can sleep later. Alright, so I went to the toilet, took a shower, brushed my teeth, now I'm on the other side of the bed because I was hoping it would be better for my back. I haven't been laying on this side. Um, I don't know. I feel. I feel funny. Like I, I don't know. Like a little bit. There's like some definitely when I have back pain. That means it's inflamed. I can tell that my uh, front side of my abdomen, like my stomach area, that's inflamed too, and like a little bit gassy, but. I mean, it's been happening, like, on and off, um, for, like, the past week since I've been in the city, and I'm not really sure what's causing it, um, so I don't know, my plan for today was to go check out this island, just, like, two kilometers off the coast, because I thought it would be really cool to, like, show you guys the whole process of going from like waking up feeling like everything's fine to the typical feeling where I have after a shower where I like okay I need to lay down and rest um to pushing myself and that whole decline that I experience throughout the day as I continue to push and once it catches up to me even more, once I lay down to rest. Um, but now I'm kind of on the fence. Like, I really want to go check out this island. Um, but I feel like I don't have enough food here right now to be planning an outing like that. Because I know that when I get back, um, I'm going to have to... Like... I, I know I'm not going to feel up to going to the store when I get back, and ideally I don't want to go out again tomorrow either. So I'd have to find some way to get food today and also go check out this island, and I feel like there's really no feasible way to do both. And... Um, you know, I want to be feeling as well as possible when I go to this island, but since this has been happening since I've been here, I don't know if it's really going to change. I feel like I should probably just lay here a little bit longer and then get up and go and do the best I can, and we'll see. It's almost two now. It's been an hour since... The last update and I haven't moved at all and I really don't feel like moving it sucks because I didn't even go out at all yesterday 
I thought I was doing better than this. Like, managing to go out at least, like, once every other day or something. You know. Before that, I was... I was often actually going out like every day for, I, I would I would go out for like one one time a day um, but I don't know I don't know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay in and chill and <clears throat> at some point later in the day I can go to the store and get some food and prepare it for tomorrow so that I can go to this island and have something to eat and hopefully make as much of a day out of it as possible. All right, um, it's 30 minutes later now. I just got up and ate finally. It's not really unusual for me to wait so late to eat. It's like 2.30 now. But, um, oh gosh, um, where was I going with this? Yeah, like, I, I'll often eat really late in the day just because it takes me so long to get up and get going, so I sort of end up inadvertently intermittent fasting. Um, this really feels like a histamine reaction, actually, because I can tell it's, uh, hold on, yeah. Um, like I said, the, the back pain is already a sign that it's inflamed without me even having to touch my back. Um, I touched my stomach and I could tell it was inflamed. I, if I touch my skin, like, it's it's definitely a little bit warmer, like a slight temperature. Um, I've been taking cold showers because it's been so hot lately and getting my hair wet constantly throughout the day to cool down. Because uh, I've like really been struggling to deal with the heat. And right now it's 30 degrees. I don't feel hot at all. When I took a shower, it was like the water was too cold. Um, you know, so that to me tells me that I'm, uh, I'm more, I want to say, not exactly, like, I, I don't, I don't feel chills, but the fact is, I, I must be feeling, I don't know how to describe it, but, I mean, the fact is my, I can tell my body temperature is higher so that I'm not perceiving the heat the same way that I normally would. And if it were colder, if it were like a winter day, I, I would be like under the blanket and shivering right now. Uh, you know, if it were like 15 degrees. So, I mean, the, normally I should be feeling like it's really hot out right now and, and I don't. Um, which I guess is not that bad, but, um, yeah, and uh, I don't know, and also the fact that I, when I got up to close the window, it was like six, normally I don't wake up until eight, until it starts to get like really noisy on the street and really bright outside. And typically with a histamine reaction, I, I do wake up earlier. And I I tend to wake up in the middle of the night and I might like, you know, check if I have messages and then go back to sleep. But not quite as much as I, like I definitely woke up more today. So, um, <clears throat> the, the difference is with, um, with like a fatigue reaction, um, I would sometimes feel like my body temperatures increased after I've exerted myself, but that would come with this really miserable feeling and this really like heavy feeling in my body. Um, so this is definitely different and because of all of the other signs going along with it, um, it 
it all adds up to, okay, this must be a histamine reaction, but still I have no idea what I'm reacting to. And the fact that this has been going on for a week tells me that, well, it makes me kind of wonder if it could be something to do with the environment here, because typically after I travel, I need like three days to rest and recover. And this time, um, like it's, it's been more than three days now. And if I, if I eat just like one thing that makes me sick, you know, that I would deal with that for like, you know, the next day or two. But now it's it's been longer than that, and, you know, it, it feels like it's coming from the food, but almost like it's coming from everything I'm eating. And if, if I'm being so sensitive to food, and I haven't overexerted myself from, from traveling just in the last couple days, then it kind of makes me think that it must be something in the environment here, which is kind of disappointing because I was always hoping that I would do better in a Mediterranean environment, but maybe it's just this city. I really think that I would need to um, at some point explore other cities along the coastline and find some place that's less polluted maybe and maybe then things would go better <sighs> okay it's um nearly 8 30 my thighs are like cramping from walking up the stairs i um i um i found out that i'm like being convoked for this um, this meeting with a debt collector over this medical bill that never got paid, even though I forwarded it to my insurance several times. Um, so I was like stressing over that. Otherwise, I probably would have taken a nap, but I didn't. Um, and then, oh god, I, I, I was like, okay, so I definitely need to go to the store, stocked up, which I did. I got enough food to hopefully last me most of the weekend. Um, and uh, be prepared to go to this island tomorrow. But before I left, I needed to take the trash out, and the trash really stank. And I opened it up, and there were like, I believe maggots, like, crawling all over it. And I'm like, you know, where did they even come from? I guess, those, like, the, the gnats that are on the food, I guess those are like their, their spawn. <laughs> but, uh, I would say that that's uh, this is the first time this has happened, but I still kind of feel that you could rope that in as, like, a side effect, because obviously if you don't get out that often, <laughs> you're not going to be able to take the trash out when you should. Um, while I was out, oh, <clears throat> I did remember that I ate, like, shrimp and... Yeah, smoked salmon the day before yesterday, so I guess that would explain the histamine reaction. And I don't know if it's necessarily the environment here. Like, I feel like I've been eating enough stuff the past week that who knows? Maybe, maybe that was it. Maybe, yeah, maybe I just like set off several different histamine reactions. I mean. You don't always know for sure. That's, um, unfortunately, kind of comes with the territory. But, yeah. Now I finally get to eat. I'm starving for hours, but I had to go out and get food first. So, of course, as soon as I get back, first thing I do is fix the 
food before like the the shock of all of the exertion hits me and got just like a little bit to hold me over now and uh, I guess later on probably like I don't know after midnight or something I'll actually cook a more complete meal and have it packed and ready to go tomorrow. All right, it is almost 1.30. <laughs> I'm waiting for the water to boil. I guess now that I go and get the, the computer, it starts boiling. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to add that basically the other sign that I should have known pretty early on that it was a human reaction was that I was cold during the night, which, you know, like, it's way too warm to, to be cold, but um, I think that's another part of why I woke up so early, just because it was kind of chilly. Or, I, I mean, I was feeling chilly because I was, like, reacting more to the cold. Um, yeah, I've got a headache now, but I guess I brought that upon myself because I, yeah, I don't know. My, the reason I'm cooking now is because I was eating stuff I shouldn't have been eating earlier. But is the kind of stuff that I would react to in like minutes to hours, so I should still be good to go tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I mean I I've been getting headaches pretty much every day this week, but it's been more like I don't know around early afternoon-ish, around that time when it's like the hottest part of the day, if I stay inside. And the days where I've been out walking around that time of day, I haven't had headaches. So I think the other times are the heat and this time is most of in the food. But yeah, hoping I'll be good and ready to go as early as possible tomorrow morning so we can make the most of the day. <laughs>